I have always wondered how many diamonds could you find by just digging a hundred thousand blocks straight. Or how many ancient debris would you get if you did the same thing in the nether? Well, today we are going to find that out by digging a hundred thousand blocks straight in every Minecraft dimension. And yes, even doing it in the end dimension. First, we flip the coin to see who gets to dig in the overworld and who gets the nether. And that is overworld for me and nether for you, Robin. For the end, we got a bit of a different plan that we will reveal later on. So, what exactly do we need for digging a hundred thousand blocks forwards? Pickaxes and legs mostly, but what if you run into a lava pool bigger than your mom? For that, we also need to prepare the fire resistant potions using the automatic brewing system. I had to wait 60 seconds to make 3 potions, and that was way too much for me, even with Safi Surfer playing in the background. So we decided to make them the old school way. About the pickaxes, I just counted them and we have 36 pickaxes, divided by 2 and that's how many we each get to take along. Other than pickaxes, we also grab some stuff that is necessary to survive the 100,000 blocks. We are both at 0, zero coordinates, I'm ready to start in the overworld. And I'm in the same place in the nether, whenever you are ready I guess. I'm ready, let's get straight into mining. Because, you know, we can only mine straight. And that's my first single diamond. Oh, and I have found the first ancient debris. And I'm at block 1000, and so far I have only found one diamond. If this keeps on going, I will only get the 100 diamonds from this whole journey. This is disappointing, but if there is something that doesn't disappoint you, it will be the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder, the most epic, free, multiplayer and multi-platform game, where fun is not even a question. Control vehicles that move on land, ocean or even in the air. Recently a major update called La Royale added a whole French fleet of vehicles into War Thunder. Also the visual effects got an update. Comparing an explosion from Minecraft to an explosion in War Thunder, it's a whole new level of immersive gaming. You can customize and upgrade your vehicles in almost endless ways. Then choose a map from huge available selection and head into the battle. But to make it fun starting out, War Thunder is giving all new players or players who haven't played for 6 months a free rental on a special aircraft and an M4 tank, 100,000 silver lions, 3 premium vehicles, a week of premium account and much more. That is all free if you use my custom link to join right now. Hurry up because the American vehicle bonus season will end soon. Click the link in the description and thank you War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Hey, this amethyst cluster is pretty cool, and I get to go straight through it. I had some difficulties getting started inside the lava pool. I'm only at 1000 blocks and found 3 ancient debris so far. But let's keep mining and praying that there are no more huge lava pools. Although deep slate is slow to mine, I am already at 2000 blocks in. I am on the Y level that is best for finding diamonds and so far I have found 39 diamonds. We also prepared some rules for this 100,000 block challenge. Number 1. Don't waste time and mine as quickly as possible. Number 2. Always leave a straight and flat road behind. Number 3. Collect only diamonds and ancient debris. Number 4. Read the rule number 1. Don't waste time. Exactly, yes. So let's get back to mining. And I just hit 10,000 blocks mined, and I have also gathered 45 ancient debris, which is pretty good I guess. And I hit 10,000 blocks just 2 minutes later. 
So far I have 140 diamond ores. That was not supposed to happen. I didn't know I had a fortune pickaxe. I have two good news and one bad news. I'm at 20,000 blocks and got 110 ancient debris, but it's the end of my last pickaxe. The rest are all in my ender chest, so I guess I need to go home. Obviously I'm not gonna walk, because with my extreme precision flying I can get home way faster. I just realized we calculated the pickaxe's amount wrong. When I did my math, I thought we are going to break 100,000 blocks, but no. You actually break two blocks for each block that you walk. So Robin, please make an extra 34 pickaxes. Finally got all the new pickaxes and my ender chest with a couple of backup ones. It's time to head back, but I'm gonna stop here at 2400 blocks in, because I can actually visit Lauri. Okay, thank you sir for all the pickaxes and other stuff. This stuff was very needed. After flying back another 10 minutes, I can continue the mining madness. At some point I even started feeling that I had way too many diamonds, so I covered up some lava with those. That's the second amethyst cluster I see. There was even a time I ran into the deep dark and I got the blindness effect. Just in case I quickly set up a respawn point using my bed. But after mining for a hundred blocks I was safe and out of the danger zone. And I have just walked over the halfway mark, yay! That means I have mined 50,000 blocks straight and it has taken me 16 hours. With this time I have collected over 254 ancient debris. I have to say it's actually way harder to mine those blocks than I thought at the beginning. I think you are doing great at 50,000 blocks because I am only at 39,000. Although I have been mining for the same 16 hours. I have collected 877 diamond ores during this, and there is still a long way to go. Wow, I didn't expect to find anything in the nether, but I found this nether fortress. Oh, and lava as well. But that I'm always finding. I just found the third amethyst cluster on my way. I guess those are really common down here.
there is only 25,000 to go. I'm hoping to hit 500 ancient debris before the end, but so far I have found 359. I have also gained a huge 20,000 block lead in front of Laure. Don't you hate it when you got huge momentum while breaking the blocks and suddenly a slowest block to break ever comes your way. Oh, that is so annoying and it keeps on happening to me. Robin is so far in front and maybe I should stop visiting every cave I find. But come on, you can't lie and tell me that this cave I found doesn't look cool. And in just a moment, I will have successfully traveled the 100,000 blocks. The nether dimension is done. But before heading back, what did I gain from traveling the 100,000 blocks? Well, I got the total of 479 ancient debris, which is really nice to have. But I also wasted 26 hours and 25 minutes of my life. Definitely not many people have done it. And at least now you know how long it takes. And you didn't even mention me. I am still stuck in the overworld with only 70,000 blocks traveled. Oh boy, this is gonna take so much time. But I signed up for this, so I can't really complain. You would think my job here is done, but no. Laurie has so much to go that I'm gonna start with the third dimension, which is the end. We have a bit of a different approach this time. The challenge is to dig and travel 100,000 blocks, right? So the construction I built here is a flying machine and I will be traveling using this. Just hop in the minecart, start the machine and I can dig the air. This is going to be epic. While Robin was literally mining air, I was still stuck down in the caves, doing real work and mining real blocks. The first accident in my air mining happened when a chorus flower pushed me off the flying machine. I built some extra blocks to make sure it never happens again. But my flying machine had another problem. Turns out I have created a too big of a platform so the enderman just pushed me off, killing me in the process. Yikes. So then I took a pumpkin, put it over my head and continued the air mining. Here I am, still alive after 37 hours and 35 minutes into overworld mining. And my job here is done. I am so tired, but also so glad that finally I crossed the finish line. I know you want to know how many diamonds I got in total, but let's wait for Robin to finish the end dimension traveling and we can compare all the results of all the dimensions. This end dimension had some problems, but still was the easiest one to do. But in the 14 hours and 45 minutes I found exactly zero items. This was not the case for the other dimensions, but to show how many ores we got in each dimension, we will lay everything out on this land. These are the results here. 
and I even made an area for the end dimension, but the result is not too great. My ancient debris stack here has exactly 479 blocks, but yours looks a lot bigger. What's the number then? Well, from the overworlds I got the total of 2220 diamond ores, which I collected in 37 and a half hours. So what did we learn from this? Mostly that if you mine a lot of blocks, you will find a lot of stuff, unless you are in the end dimension. But I'm happy with our results. And I would be happy if you checked out Wise Hosting, the hosting company we made and personally use to get the best playing experience and absolutely no lag. See you next time. Bye.